we found ticks again. Hey, look at that black thing right there. That might be a tick. So those ticks are gonna wanna hang out on the very soft part of them. They're not gonna go on the legs because this is like tough armor. Oh, wait, wait, is that one right there? Look at that, I think that's a tick. Oh, you wanna show us your tick? Thank you. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys had an amazing day. Now before we get down to business, I gotta do two very important things. I have to shout out some people. So the very first person I want to shout out is Maddie right here. Maddie picked the name for the little puppies and it is the mini monster clan. So shout out to you Maddie. Thank you for picking that name. And I also would like to pick a winner for the wood turtle name. The wood turtle is right over there. And I want to give a shout out to Christine Covert for the name Woody. I mean, it's only right to name the wood turtle Woody. But now we're going to hop into today's video. And for today, we found ticks again. And you know who had a tick on him? Him, right there. He had a tick. Milo, come here. Now guys, we got to check him for ticks. We found one tick, which means there could be more ticks in the yard and ticks on the tortoises. So I'm going to try to go over to Milo. We're going to kind of examine him, make sure that he has no ticks because he had one earlier right under his armpit and we looked a little bit, but there could be little baby ticks. I mean, these ticks could be this big or they could be, you know, like this. So we're gonna go over to Milo and he's probably gonna run because he wants to play. Oh, hi, hi. This is Milo right here. Hello, buddy, you want some scratches? So we're gonna check him for some ticks right now. So the tick was found right here and that almost looks like a baby tick. It's actually a little pimple for him. Milo, we need to check you for some ticks. Whoa, whoa. Milo, Milo, sit, sit. Come down. Can you sit? Calm down, buddy. Oh, you got your coconut. Oh, look at you, big boy. You got your coconut. We're going to check his ears right here, you know. There could be a tick inside of his ears. Nothing. Just looks like a little bit irritated. Oh, hi. Hello. And we got to check underneath right here. Uh, oh, that looks like a tick right there. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that black thing right there. That might be a tick. And, okay. Yeah, that's not a tick. Milo looks like he's tick-free. He looks okay. So now we have to check the tortoises because now that I think of it, if you guys have been watching my channel, you will know that I got four new red foot tortoises about two weeks ago and I checked them for ticks, but I didn't really check for like tiny microscopic ticks. Cause I mean, they can literally be the size of like a grain of sand almost, maybe a little bit bigger than that. So we're gonna go check out some of my red foot tortoises now because they very well could have been the ones that brought the ticks over here to the house. So, we're in here. What is up, buddies? You guys want to come out and say hello? Look at him. He's, he's got some of that white on him. He's got some calcium, guys. We gave him calcium. I dusted their greens today with calcium. And this right here is one of the red foot tortoises. That's new. Hi, bud. That's a beautiful female right here. Hi. Now, if you guys see the bubbles, don't worry. She does not have a respiratory infection. You know, these guys are extremely healthy. You know, that's just moisture from being in here. So we want to check her neck and it's not looking, but just look at her feet. Look how beautiful they are. Look at her head. Her head is just absolutely gorgeous. She does have a pretty beautiful shell. She's a nice big old female red foot tortoise and ticks, no ticks. And yes, she still has that little fungus on there. That fungus is not going to affect her in any way. You know, it's just natural here in South Florida. These tortoises, even in the wild, will have this white fungus due to high humidity level so you look like you're good so basically I'm not gonna check all 11 of these tortoises I'm gonna check you know four or five of them because if there were ticks in here and it was a problem out of four or five one of them would for sure have ticks so if none of them have ticks out of the four or the five then most of them probably don't have ticks but I want to get another one. Oh, hi look she just popped up she's another one of the new girls one of the new residents here we're gonna just look for some tickies right here Nope, nope. Look, she's dusty. She's all dirty. She's been digging. She's got a little cave right over there. You can see that she likes to sleep in. Same thing. Now, guys, I know we're not supposed to keep tortoises slipped over, but for short periods of time, it doesn't really affect them anyway. You know, it's fine for them. You know, when they're at the vet getting exam, they will get flipped over. You leave them for long periods of time flipped over, that's when you can cause damage and cause the internals of them to actually flip. Their organs can flip. So we don't want to do that. And now we've checked two of the new redfoots. Now we have to check the another one and the big giant male. So the other one is right over here. I'm gonna pull her out right now. Hi. Ah. Hi. You can see her head is much more orange compared to the other ones. Theirs is more of a yellow and she's much, much more orange. Hi, pretty girl. 
So those ticks are gonna wanna hang out on the very soft part of them. They're not gonna go on the legs because this is like tough armor or on their head. The neck is much thinner. It's still tough, but it's much thinner than the rest of their body. So we wanna check your legs. We're just gonna have you flipped over for a second. No ticks, no ticks. Oh, you wanna spin? You wanna go back? Okay, she is tick free. So far out of all the tortoises that we have looked at, nobody's had ticks. So that is a great, great sign. Now it is time to get Big Hoss, my biggest male red foot out right now. Where are you, bud? Oh, he's right here. This is a old man tortoise. And just look at him. He is a beast. He's probably like, I don't know, 15, 16 inches. Look at his beautiful orange head. He's got those yellows. His feet are almost black, which I think is pretty cool. And he was an imported tortoise. He's got to be at least 30, 40 years old, and he is just massive. You can see that nice concave shell, that nice long tail. And let's look at you for ticks. Oh, wait, wait, is that one right there? Look at that. I think that's a tick. Oh, no. That's just like a skin tag. That's not a tick. But it looked just like a tick. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty wild. I thought that was a tick. Well, that's good. Look at his eyes. He's so pretty. Gorgeous. And that's almost like a, a red-orange mix. It's almost like a hot orange. Not even... Oh! Oh! He just uh. peed all over me. Oh! Come on, buddy. That's his defense, you know? When they're being held and picked up, they'll just pee and poop to get anything to drop them. And buddy, I'm not gonna drop you. Nice try. The bottom of his legs, tick free, tick free. But I wanna show you guys when you wet his shell, just how pretty it is. It looks pretty dull right now. Uh, look at that pretty shell right there. What a beautiful animal. Just large and just, man, just awesome. Well, you're tick free, bud. Let's go in. Here you go. Now we gotta go check my big girl Galapagos. That is, she may have a tick. I'm not thinking it was these guys. I thought it was them that brought the ticks, but maybe not. So we're gonna go check her right now. And this is the moment that all of you guys have been waiting for. This is the Galapagos tortoise that once again has ticks. Now I check these guys every day. I do rounds around the property every day. So this tick may have actually been on one of my dogs that was out here because the tick is already pretty big and he did not have this tick yesterday. So if you look on his neck right there, I mean, it is just massive. It is a, oh, you wanna show us your tick? Thank you. This tick is probably bigger than even the other ones that were on there, so it is time to remove the tick. You know, this guy's not gonna like it, but you know, it has to be done. What's up, bud? You wanna eat? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have him right here up on the wood. I'm gonna hold him, and I'm just gonna reach these back. Come here, bud. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, this tick is huge. So let me put the tortoise back down, let him get back to business. But if you look right here, you can see there's like almost a little needle right there. So it's pretty sharp and it's pretty hard, I like it's rough. And that's what he uses to actually get under the skin. And for tortoises, their skin is very thick. It's almost like leather. So it is pretty hard for these ticks to even get on. So that's why it's pretty rare that we have them, you know, in the spring, it's pretty common that, you know, we'll have some ticks here and there. But being the end of September, you know, you'd never think that a tick would be there. But now comes my favorite part, the popping part. So we're just going to put this guy right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Now I got a lot of comments, people saying, oh, you're going to spread the eggs, guys. The eggs can only be spread around if the tick lays them. The eggs are not fully developed on the inside. Plus, this concrete right here is going to get so so hot once the sun is hitting this concrete right here i mean this is going to be almost 150 degrees so there's no way these eggs are surviving but just look at this it, the blood like coagulates and it's almost like a looks like grape jelly really dad doesn't it look like grape jelly but yeah, it's kind of it. yeah we're not eating it yeah this is just gross so i'm just gonna clean this up i'm gonna come back out with some bleach clean it because you know i don't want to leave that nasty stuff there i just think it looks gross so guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope all of you guys did enjoy it if you guys have not already please go comment down below what would you do if you saw a tick this big on your tortoise on your dog i want all of you guys to go give this video a thumbs up if you have not already and if you guys are not subscribed to the fam yet guys is the first link down below i'd love to have any of you guys join